as we covenant with God, that means we need to be committed to God's way of doing things, what, committed to God's way of life, committed to the gospel and, the gos- and what the gospel teaches us about reconciliation and about the etiquette of the kingdom of God, the etiquette of the table in the kingdom of God. And this is where Corinth had a problem. Because when you read 1 Corinthians 11, Corinth is struggling. They are, in fact, undermining the gospel. And some of them are becoming sick and weak and even dying because of the judgment that comes from sitting at the table of the Lord in a double-minded way. Sitting at the table of the Lord feigning commitment to the gospel, but yet living in ways and even sitting at the table in ways that undermine the gospel. Check out the newest series on Praise and Harmony TV, 10 Profound Eternal Truths by Dr. Albert Lemons. This in-depth series covers everything from the triune God and the virgin birth all the way to the resurrection. Dive deeper into the truths you've heard about your whole life. Jesus wept. Jesus didn't cry because a good man was dead. Jesus wept because a good man would have to go back to the grave again. And his coming out was necessary to prove the validity and authenticity of Jesus Christ and his ministry. Use this series as an outreach tool to help new believers better understand the message of the cross. 10 Profound Eternal Truths by Dr. Albert Lemons. Available on praiseandharmony.tv today.